Hello, welcome to Tile Coach. I'm Isaac Ostrom. Thank you for being with me today on this video on how to install a prefab shower niche into a shower wall. We got our studs wide open, but the customer would like this niche in horizontal instead of vertical. If it's vertical, that's usually pretty easy because they're made to fit inside a stud bay and you can just put them in, put a couple cross supports and you're good. But horizontally, it doesn't fit in between the stud bays. So what I need to do is cut one of these studs out. And there's a few considerations to make. Uh, first off, you need to figure out if it's an exterior or load bearing wall, or if it's just a regular interior wall that doesn't have any support on it. If it is a load bearing wall, like an exterior wall, you can see the setup. Anytime you have an opening, that's bigger than the width of the studs, you need to support it with a header. But on an interior wall that's not load bearing, you can simply just take out the two x four that's there. That can also be tricky because we got a finished bedroom on the other side. You can't just go ripping studs out or you're gonna damage the drywall on the other side. Okay, so this is a 12 inch tall niche, but to, to cut the right opening, you have to measure the back. Because it's made out of half inch wall board, it's actually 13. And I'm actually gonna go 14, just so I have a little bit of room. I have my first mark right here, and then I'm gonna measure down 14, which is this line. But I need to also add the thickness of the two by four. So this is gonna be a two by four here. And let's see, inch and a half. This is gonna be the two by four down here because the two by four is actually gonna stack on top. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, I like to use, when I mark and cut my studs, I like to use a little level so that I make sure that I'm cutting a nice cut through the stud. You don't want this cut to be uh, wavy or out of level because it'll mess up your two by four that's sitting on top of it. Uh, you could probably also use a combination square for this too, but a small level that fits in here will work. So yeah, so I'm actually gonna cut out here. So even though the niche is gonna sit uh, right here, the two by four that's going across um, is gonna be right here. So I can't cut it right where I want it and then add a two by four, then it'll be too small. So you gotta account for that two by four that's going in here, which is an inch and a half. We make that mistake quite a bit, don't we, Zach? Yeah. <laughs> So I can use a skill saw first, huh? Mm -hmm. That's how I usually do it. I'm gonna go ahead and make the cut. I should probably have some safety glasses. Safety, on. please. Just gonna use your safety. These have your glasses downstairs if you want. I think these will work. <laughs> I got Steve's stylish uh, safety glasses here. I like. It. <laughs> they were ready in the comment section. Okay, here we go. So the skill saw is nice because it gets a really, really nice line. And then I can finish up, what I like to do is finish up with a sawzall or a multi-tool. So I'll finish up with just the, the buzz tool here. If you just uh, pull it off like this, just try to be gentle, it was already loose, but if you just kind of wiggle it, it'll usually pull the drywall nails. And then on the back side, usually all you have to do is just have a couple little touch-ups from the nail holes. Now that we have 
uh, the stud out, we can put our two 2x4s cross braces and then put our vertical supports. So I made a little notch in my cross member here uh, just to fit these two little phone wires in here. Alright, so leveling up the, the bottom cross member. These are nice screws. Yeah, the threes are kind of. Good. And then uh, on the top one, oh, same thing. I gotta, I gotta notch for those wires too on this one. Okay, so now that we got our, our cross members screwed off and in here, you can see the niche uh, is free to slide around in this. I still want to make a couple of vertical supports here to screw the edge of the board into. That'll also allow for the wall board to be fastened here too, which is nice. So when I do these niches, I like to try to get full tiles or a nice layout around the niche because it's a design feature. It's, a, it's an area that's we're probably gonna put some decorative tile in here or something. It's nice to have a picture frame of either the same cuts or full tiles if you can get it. So what I did is I measured uh, my full tile is gonna come to 32 and uh, 3 8. So I'm gonna have a nice full tile here and a full tile right here. So this is gonna lay out really nicely. went from stud to stud here, stud to stud here, and then just put these vertical supports. Again, because this is not an exterior load bearing wall, no header is needed, uh, just supports for basically the niche and the board that's connecting to it. That's all this is doing here. So, uh, good opening. Uh, we'll continue on with the wall board and get this niche in. I'm gonna go ahead and get my niche set where I want it to be set. Uh, I, got, I got the opening made nice there. And so, so I gotta make sure that I, I'm putting this in level and I'm just gonna use one screw temporarily. So um, I made a mark right here to line up with uh, full tile because my full tile is gonna come down to this point. I transferred it to make sure I'm good. And now I'm uh, using my level and I'm just gonna get this screwed in temporarily with one screw. Good there, maybe I'll take one more screw. 
There we go, that's installed level. So now I'm gonna cut my wall board around it and I'll use my washers in between once we get the wall board up. washers in between the niche and the board here. And the washers have these little spikes in them. The little spikes so that when you you can pre-place them, just push them into the board. They're like a thumbtack here. I'm gonna wait on that one till the next one's up. putty knife. Just make sure you get a nice two inch bead of sealant. And what I've noticed is this is a lot easier than doing a band, you know, sheet membrane bands and corners. What do you think, Steve? Who can score? Yeah, so this putty knife's two inches, so I'm just using that as a gauge to make sure I have a nice uh, two inch uh, bead of sealant going around. And that's that. Revolutionary shower systems, preformed niches, very solid. Mount top flush with the boards, really simple, easy process. So this revolutionary shower systems, all the components, the wall board, everything is available at revolutionaryshowersystems.com. It's just a product that I love. It's a small company that we're supporting, a made in the USA product. I love supporting small companies that make their product here in the States. Again, revolutionaryshowersystems.com. And last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.